Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear student. My name is Tazbiullah. I am the senior most teacher of Frontier Children Academy and I am teaching here for last 20 years. And I will teach you biology class 9th online. So let's start. <coughs> so uh, this is uh, the textbook of biology of class 9th. KPK textbook board Peshawar. So uh, you will uh, follow this book and I will also provide uh, notes. Uh, so these are the notes and you can get uh, this uh, copy from the school. Uh, so let's start. Unit number one and there is introduction to biology and this is lecture number one. First of all we will define science that what is science. Science is the study in which observations are made, experiments are done and logical uh, conclusion are drawn in order to understand the principle of nature. So science there is a knowledge that is gained through continuous observation and experimentation and this knowledge is called science. In past uh, times all the scientific information were included under one head and that was science. With the passage of time scientific information increased manifold and this uh, knowledge scientific knowledge was then classified into different branches like uh, biology physics chemistry mathematics so these are some of the important branches of science in this subject you will study about biology so what is biology <coughs> Biology word for the first time it was used in 1736 a Swedish scientist and his name was Carlos Linnaeus. For the first time he used this biology word. And this is the combination this biology word is the combination of two Greek words bios meaning life and logos meaning thought or reasoning are also study. So how we will define biology? The scientific study of life is called biology. So what we will study in biology? The study of biology help us in studying the structure and function and related aspect of living organism. It also provide information and remedies to human problems regarding health, food and environment etc. Uh, biology is a very vast wide knowledge. So there are three main major division of biology. The first one that is zoology. Zoology zoo mean animal and logy means study. So in this division we study about animal and botany this division deal with the study of plant and we study plants and the botany. Microbiology this is the third division and microbiology we study microorganisms. What are microorganisms? Microorganisms are those organisms that cannot be seen with naked eye. They are only possible to be seen on uh, under the microscope compound microscope or electron microscope for example microorganism or viruses bacteria microscopic fungi so their study is called microbiology uh, in order to study all the aspect of life major division of biology are further divided into different branches and now let explain these branches one by one the first one that is morphology. Morphology is actually the combination of two words morph that means shape and logy means study. So in morphology we study about the form, shape, 
and structure of an organ of an organism or the whole organism form shape and structure size etc so that is morphology then morphology is divided into two groups external morphology and internal morphology external morphology is the name indicate in this we study about the external part of an organ or our organism for example uh, eye so what is the external structure of this eye what is the size of this eye what is the shape of this eye so what kind of uh, layers present outside this uh, human eye so this is called external morphology they deal with the external uh, uh, parts of the an organ or uh, an organism uh, the second part of the uh, morphology is internal morphology internal morphology is also called anatomy uh, anatomy this is actually the study of internal parts their structure their composition etc like human eye so their internal structure there are retina there is sclera right different layers are there so internal structure study uh, of an organ that is called anatomy or internal morphology the next branch that is histology histology is actually the microscopic study of plant and animal tissue what are animal tissue and plant tissue or a tissue that will be inshallah in uh, next some chapters we will explain and that chapter uh, that will be based on histology so uh, histology is the microscopic study of composition structure and function of plant and animal tissue so that is histology now come to the next branch that is cell biology or cytology in cell biology we study about the cell and cell organelle and also about the cell division cell that is the basic structure and function unit of living organism and cell organelle actually these are the small bodies that present inside the cell and cell division mean that how a cell divide into two so inshallah these topics cytology we will explain in some of the chapter there is also a single chapter on uh, cell division in class 9 and half of the chapter on the cell and cell organelle uh, in uh, uh, chapter i think so that was chapter number 3 or 4 okay now the next one uh, next branch that is physiology in this branch we study about the function of different parts of the living organism and different activity that occur in them like for example this human eye so in morphology we study about their structure in physiology we will study in the function of this human eye that how is image is formed on the retina etc so physiology deal with the function of the different parts of the body the next branch that is embryology embryology is the study of development of an embryo into a new individual that is embryology what is embryo embryo when the male gamete sperm and female gamete ovum they fuse with each other so they form zygote after zygote formation they it divide and redivide and form a small mass of cells that is called embryo and then that embryo develop into a fetus or a juvenile plant and all these we study in a branch of biology and that is called embryology now let's move to the uh, next branch that is taxonomy taxonomy uh, is the study of naming and classification of organism into groups and subgroup on the basis of similarity and differences uh, so uh, this uh, branch deal with that how we will uh, divide it different organism into different group uh, and subgroup on the basis of similarity and differences it also tell about that how we will give a scientific name to a living organism what are the rule and regulation for the uh, uh, for the scientific name to an organism then that we will study in taxonomy so in some of the chapter we will discuss also uh, in detail about taxonomy uh, genetics 
This is the next branch of biology. Uh, actually, this is the study of gene and their role in inheritance. It also study the uh, transmission of character from the parents to the offspring. That how these characters are transferred from parents to offspring. So all these things we study in genetics. And in class 10 biology, almost there are uh, one chapter that uh, is on genetics. Next is paleontology. In paleontology, we study about the fossils. What are fossils? Fossils are actually the dead remains of the organism, living organism. So their study is called paleontology. Paleontology is further divided into two groups, paleobotany and this we study about the fossil of plants and paleozoology and this we study about the fossils of animals. Uh, the next branch is environmental biology. In environmental biology, we study about uh, the interaction of the organism, living organism, with their environment. In environment, then there are two factors, abiotic factor that is the living factor of the environment and abiotic factor that is non-living, thing like air, water, etc. And inshallah, we will also uh, discuss environmental biology in class 9 in one chapter. That whole chapter will be for environmental biology. Biotechnology, this is the latest field. And this field use the practical application of the living organism to make substances for the welfare of the human being like uh, uh, vaccine formation. So this vaccination, this is actually biotechnology field. Biotechnology field is actually the combination of field. They uh, use the knowledge of different branches of biology like uh, genetic engineering, recombinant DNA technology, microorganism. Mostly the microorganism are used in biotechnology. Sociobiology or social biology, <coughs> the next branch. <coughs> Uh, this branch, uh, in this branch, we study about social animal and their social behavior, uh, like honeybee, uh, ants, and human. <coughs> the next one, <coughs> that is parasitology. In this branch, we study about the parasite. Okay, what are parasite? Parasite are the organism which take prepare food from the host and cause diseases. In them, there, there are a lot of uh, kinds of parasite, external parasite like mosquito, human lice, internal parasite like uh, some of the worms that present in the human intestine that feed on prepare food of the human and viruses are also, they are also a kind of uh, parasite. So in parasite, we study different kind of in parasitology, we uh, study different kind of parasite. Immunology, this is another branch of biology. In this branch, we study about the immune system. Inside the animal, including human being, there is a defense system. And their defense system is called immune system. And their defense system fight against the uh, invading microorganism or antigen or anything that is harmful and produce antibodies. So all these things uh, we will study in the immunology and class 10 there is also one chapter on an immunology, immunology, the entomology. The next branch is uh, entomology. <coughs> entomology, it is the study of insects. The most abundant animal on the surface of earth there are these are insects. So this is actually a sub branch of uh, zoology. And what are insect? Insects are those animals who have uh, three body region, head, thorax and abdomen. On the thorax there are three pair of legs in adult condition. So such kind of animal are called insects. And, and the study of insects is called entomology. The next uh, branch is pharmacology. And in pharmacology, we study about the drugs, medicine, and their effect on the system of the human being. It also analyzes the synthesis and the breakdown of biological activity and the effect and the delivery of drugs also is study in pharmacology. So there is, will be also one chapter in biology 
for pharmacology and that we will study pharmacology in detail. Uh, the next branch is molecular biology. In molecular biology we study life but on molecular st uh, stage, molecular level. Uh, there are biological molecules which form the cell organelle and cell organelle they form the cells. And these uh, later on we will discuss in detail that what are those biological molecules. Actually these are water, protein, carbohydrate, lipid, nucleic acid that is DNA, RNA. So molecular biology is the study of life but on molecular level. So this was uh, the end of uh, lecture number one of unit one. So thank you very much.